What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is the series where I go into great detail with all the stats of every one of the weapons in God World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the Sterling SMG. First up, as always, let's have a look at some of the in real life stats. So the Sterling might look a little bit familiar to you, it looks a whole lot like a Sten, and this makes sense because the Sterling was actually designed to replace the Sten. It fires a 9mm Luger round at approximately 550 rounds per minute. In COD World War II, we get a damage profile of 35, 30, 29, 23, which means it's always going to be a 3, 4, or 5 shot kill in core game modes. It's worth noting that many of the stats for this are literally identical to the Grease Gun. This includes the damage profile as well as the rate of fire. The rate of fire on this is 545 rounds per minute, and with rapid fire we can bump that up to 582 rounds per minute. This means that our statistical minimum time to kill is going to be 220 milliseconds in the 3 shot kill range, which is quite a good time to kill. Then it's 330 milliseconds in the 4 shot kill range, and finally in that 5 shot kill range it's going to be 440 milliseconds. As for headshots, we get a standard multiply to the head of 1.1. This takes our damage profile to a 38, 33, 31, 25. Essentially what this means is headshots aren't really going to be doing anything for you. Aside from in that 5 shot kill range, if you hit every single one of the bullets to the head, it will now be a 4 shot kill, but that's not really all that practical. So realistically speaking, don't worry about headshots. Getting into our ranges, the Sterling actually has the best ranges for the SMG category. Its 3 shot kill range is 15 meters, which is excellent, and it's a little bit better than the Grease Gun. Its 4 shot kill range is better than all of the other SMGs out there at 30 meters. And beyond that, it's going to be a 5 shot kill out to infinity. With Suppressor, just like with all the other SMGs, we reduce all of our ranges by 30%, and with Advanced Rifling, it has no impact on our 3 shot kill range, but our 4 shot kill range is increased all the way up to 37.5 meters, which is absolutely insane for an SMG in this game. As for Hardcore, we have the best one shot kill potential in the SMG category at just under 25 meters. With Suppressor, once again, we reduce this by 30%, and Advanced Rifling does in fact work with the Sterling for Hardcore game modes, unlike with many of the other SMGs, it takes our one-shot kill potential to just under 30 meters. As for Hipfire, as you can see here, it's pretty standard for the SMG category, it's a little bit better than the Waffe 28, the Thompson, as well as the Orso. Moving on to Idle Sway, as you can see here, it does have a decent amount of Idle Sway, this isn't really out of the ordinary for SMGs, and it will definitely affect your shot at those medium to longer ranges. Now let's get into recoil, and this is where this gun really starts to fall down. As you can see here, this gun bounces around quite a bit. It goes left, it goes right, and it goes upwards, and you never really know what it's going to do. It's quite unpredictable and quite hard to control as well, and that's its big downside when we compare it to something like the Grease Gun, which, like I said, many of the other stats are identical to the Grease Gun. This is where the Grease Gun really comes out on top. As for magazine capacity, we have a pretty standard magazine capacity at 30 rounds with 90 in reserve, and with extended mags we bumped that up to 45 rounds with 135 in reserve. Our reload add time is 1.3 seconds, which is very good, it's pretty much right in line with most of the other SMGs in the game, but you do reload this gun quite fast. Our aim down sight time is actually the slowest in the SMG category, this is one of those trade-offs for that excellent range. This is 210 milliseconds, which is more like a lot of the rifles in this game. And we see the same thing with our sprint out time, this is also 210 milliseconds, which is the slowest in the SMG category. Our movement speed is standard for SMGs at 100%, and our aim down sight stray speed is equal to the grease gun, which is the best in the SMG category at 76%. All of the other SMGs, aside from the Sterling and the Grease Gun, have an aim down sight strafe speed of 72%. Getting into my recommended attachments, first up, Quick Draw. Like I said, this gun has the slowest aim down sight time in the SMG category, and it's more in line with some of the rifles in this game, so it doesn't really behave like an SMG when it comes to handling. But with Quick Draw, you get the full benefit of Quick Draw with the SMGs, and that means you actually cut your aim down sight time in half. Whereas with the rifles in the game, you only cut it down a little bit, so it's really nice to use Quick Draw on the Sterling. Next up, Grip. I don't use grip on too many weapons, but when a gun has a lot of horizontal view kick and it's really unpredictable, like the Grease Gun or the Sterling, I really like having grip on there, and I do feel like it helps quite a bit with the consistency. Another one that I found was a little bit surprising that I really found myself enjoying. I won't often combine this with Quick Draw, but sometimes I'll run a class with just this. This is Steady Aim. For whatever reason, this gun seems to be a complete beast at hip fire. I don't really know why, typically low fire rate weapons don't do too well with hip fire, but there's something about this one where if you slap Steady Aim on there, you can absolutely dominate hip firing with this gun. As for a few extras, Suppressor can be quite good on this because it does have the best base range in the SMG category, and therefore you maintain a decent amount of base range with the Suppressor. 
Rapid fire is something that could also go well with this gun since it does have a relatively low fire rate and that will bring your time to kill down a little bit, which is nice. However, one thing to keep in mind with this is when you put rapid fire on there, that recoil that's already pretty unpredictable and uncontrollable will get a little bit more unpredictable and uncontrollable. So you definitely have to be careful with that, but for some people, they will really like rapid fire on this gun. Moving on to a couple example classes. First up, we have my really aggressive, more objective-oriented class. With this one, we have the armor division with quick draw, grip, and rapid fire. Our basic training is going to be ordnance, so we can put those streaks up a little bit faster. Secondary is going to be 9 mil SAP with extended mags. Lethal is a sticky grenade. And finally, our tactical is a concussion grenade. I really like this class for just being nice and aggressive, throwing up those recon planes and those lower streaks a lot more often. I don't typically run this with the higher end streaks. But with this class, you can be an excellent help to your team in objective game modes like Domination. Next up, we have a nice stealth class that you can use with the Sterling, because the Sterling is great with a suppressor, like I said. So obviously with this one, we're using the Mountain Division. We've got Steady Aim, Quick Draw, as well as Suppressor. This way, I can be great at hip firing at those close quarter situations. I don't have to bother with aiming down sight. But if I do get into a mid-range gunfight, I do have that Quick Draw attachment that allows me to snap on a target nice and fast. Our basic training with this one is going to be Energetic, which allows us to get on the flank of enemies a whole lot faster, as well as just generally maneuver the map a little bit faster than everyone else. And everything else on the class is going to be the same as the other one. So with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. Personally, my thoughts on the Sterling, I'm not the biggest fan of this gun. I prefer the Grease Gun. I think the slightly lower ranges of the Grease Gun more than make up for the fact that the Grease Gun is much more accurate and predictable than the Sterling, because I often find myself with the Sterling missing a ton of shots that I otherwise wouldn't be missing if I was using the Grease Gun, even when I'm running the grip attachment. That's not to say that this gun is absolutely horrible and completely unusable, I just feel like the Grease Gun is generally better, at least for me and my playstyle. And with that, of course, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what's your guys' thoughts on the Sterling? Do you think it's a good gun, a not so great gun? Do you think it's better or worse than the Grease Gun? Let me know those thoughts down below. If you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of Gun Guides, as always, I will leave a link to the playlist down below. As far as the recent guns that have been added, I've already covered the ITRA Burst, as well as the M2 Carbine, and it looks like next episode is going to be the Type 5. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.